be discussing on how to read people and profiling. And let me just let's start the show and we'll be back in just a moment. Looking forward to this one. Career. And take a second. Don't put yourself down. Time for a change. Believe in yourself. Time to rearrange. Your best friend, bring hope to your day. Lose your critic, get out of your way. Now it clicks, moments of clarity. Now I hear moments of clarity. Now I get it, moments of clarity. To yourself, be kind, it will please your mind. Find your joy, trust in you. Put in the time, you'll see how you grow Many kinds of love, you get to define Find self-love, you're so alive Now it clicks, moments of clarity Now I hear, moments of clarity Now I get it Hey, and welcome to Moments of Clarity. Once again, I'm Tiffany Warner, licensed mental health counselor and your host. And we just have a few minutes before, maybe two minutes before we go live on radio. And I'm waiting for Ed. Ed's here. And we can hear some of the ads too. I don't know in a second, but I've got celebrity profiler, Alan Stevens. And uh, he's going to give us a download of his book as well, Seven Secrets. And I'll get to that during the show. Um, Wait, hold on. You can't see me? No, still can't see. I've got the uh, that ad of yours up. Times are challenging to uh, for everyone. That's all I can see. And I'll be, I'm up in the top left corner. That's better. Now? Yep, I can now see the uh, moments of clarity. You were there a moment ago, then you disappeared again. Yep, got you there. Now I'm here? Yep, now you're there. <laughs> okay. 
I must have had something just on overlay or something. Hopefully it didn't mm -hmm. mess up the beginning. But I'm glad you told me before to start the show. I'm going to unmute Ed right now and hold on a second. Here we go. And once Ed unmutes so I can hear my cue in a minute and hopefully we get to see him today. And we have callers. Call in live if you want to ask questions. 866-826-1340. 866-826-1340. I'll put that there also. And um, you can leave chat um, right on the live stream, uh, like now. Yeah. And we'll see your live comments and um, answer as much as we can as well. And um, I'm so excited to learn from Alan, celebrity profiler, discussing how he can read people for a living, uh, international profiling communication specialist. And we'll learn more about this. I'll tell you when the show starts. Ed, can you please unmute so I can hear my cue? Anyway. We'll hear ads in a second. But once we start the show, we can really radio network. Welcome to Moments of Clarity with Tiffany Werner, licensed mental health counselor in the state of Florida. Moments of Clarity's mission is to educate and end the stigma on mental health through the inspirational stories of our exceptional guests. You can join in the show by calling Tiffany toll free at 866 826 1340 or on Facebook and Twitter at MOC with Tiffany. Now, here's Tiffany Werner. Hi everyone, and thanks for listening. My name is Moment, my name is Tiffany Werner. I'm a licensed mental health counselor and I'm your host. And today we will be talking uh, about how to profile people with a celebrity profiler. And um, he is an international profiling and communication specialist who's worked with international clients. He actually woke up at four o'clock a.m. this morning and is, is with us from Australia. And I'm so grateful for that. I don't know how I, I don't know if I could ever repay the favor. <laughs> but anyway, before I introduce my guest fully, I want to say hi to Ed and the studio. Hi, Ed. Oh, good. The, the, um, the video is working today. Hi, Ed. <laughs> Happy Super Bowl Friday. Uh, happy Super Bowl Friday. This is a dumb question, but who are you rooting for? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to since we live here, the Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> of course. We have to because we live here. It's the Tampa Bay Bucks. I mean, we got Tom yep. Brady this year. Let's, let's hope we, let's hope we uh, break the curse. It's been and you've got the moments of clarity mug. I see you like giving the props there. And mm -hmm. uh, and thanks for Sponsoring, I like, you know, using the swag to promote yeah. the show and, and everything. And um, Ed, today our, our guest is going to be really interesting. He's a celebrity profiler who can read people for a living, and he's going to teach us seven secrets how and how to read people. That'll okay. help you with your dating life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anything helps that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can help in so many different areas. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> the only thing that helps that is the delete button. <laughs> True in so many ways. And the block. <laughs> block delete. <laughs> block delete. At least you're smart yeah. enough to know to use those. Yeah, you get the double whammy. <laughs> Uh, but this is uh, um, Alan Stevens. He's an international profiling specialist, and he's worked with international clients like the, the likes of Disney Films and Gillette mm -hmm. and high-profile organizations and like the Australian Federal Police and help them understand how people tick. And he works with business owners and executives, helping them to understand and engage their clients, enhancing the presentations and negotiation skills and increasing sales. So not only this, it'll help your work performance if you're in sales and everything. And um, with parents and teachers to understand kids better and their children and so many things. And welcome from Australia to Moments of Clarity, Alan Stevens. Thank you, Alan. Thank you very much, Tiffany. It's good to be here. And yes, it is okay. four o'clock in the morning, but uh, I'm awake. I know. I really appreciate that. And 
And with all of the research that I've done on you, I was really looking forward to this interview. Um, <clears throat> I'm more looking forward to all, most of my interviews, but this one, let's say, you know, like interviewing someone CIA, like, you know, special central intelligence agent or something. <laughs> like, this is, um, I mean, who doesn't want to understand people better? Especially those, with, you know, those suffer with uh, or live with, or sorry, autism or lack of social skills or things like that to learn how to read people better so that they can communicate mm -hmm. um, social anxiety, things like that. It can eliminate so many mental health challenges for so many people. And, right. and it would definitely will help me um, choose my friends more wisely. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is good. Oh, my chair is stuck. So anyway, let's see. What got you into this? Let's start from the beginning. And also call, oh. call in and leave, uh, if you want to call in to the show, 866-826-1340 and also leave comments um, during the show and I'm happy to receive them and say hi to Ed when you do. All right. Sorry. Go on. Stan. Not a problem. Um, yeah. Well, I wasn't very good at reading people when I first started. I found that I've been through uh, two divorces, a lot of uh, relationships. I'd even had business partners who had uh, emptied the bank out. And over that period of time, I realized I needed to understand people better. It came about after my second divorce. I thought, right, I needed more uh, ways of reading people. My background was 23 years with our national telephone carrier, where I was a t principal technical officer when I left them. Before mm. or after that, I'd worked as a massage therapist. I've worked with just about every uh, modality you can think of and just about every industry you can think of as well over those years. And I realized that I needed a system that was very quick and easy to read people. When I first had a look at the um, uh, the profiling of psychometric profiling, look, asking, asking people questions to work out their personalities, that I found had a lot of flaws as far as uh, gender issues, different cultural issues, uh, whether the person was emotional at the time, whether they were telling you the truth. And so I needed hey. something that Hmm. I can feed into this with psychology so much. Yes, if somebody's speaking from emotion rather than logic, and That's competent it. people attract other competent people. If you're broken inside, you're going to attract another wounded bird and other things as well. And like hmm. what I was saying, the block and delete, though. They, but at the same time, some people take years to figure that, like, to get to that point. And like, what I love from what you've already said is that you've learned from your mistakes and you're like, I don't want to make these mistakes anymore. So how do I learn to perfect my people reading skills so that I don't end up with a third marriage and have my bank account stolen from business partners and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. I'll give you a bell for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I thought about uh, when you just mentioned having a, a third partner, I think I'd follow um, Rod Stewart's uh, uh, line. And as he said, um, would he get married again? No, he'd just find a woman he doesn't like and uh, buy her a house. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, to be serious. It uh, one of has I... a charm on some people. You never know. Some That's people, are, and I don't want to get off topic, but some people are ashamed when they've been divorced twice and stuff like that. And what I tell them in therapy is like, I don't see it like that. I see it like you, you didn't want to stay in an abusive relationship or a relationship that yeah. didn't make you happy. You're just more That's picky. It. It's standard, mm. and you stood up to it rather than stayed with someone you didn't like because of, you know, I guess, religious beliefs or whatever. I think like vows, or mm. I didn't say vows like, like they don't matter, but you know what I mean. If someone breaks those, mm. then you know you have the right to get out. Mm. In my opinion, I don't know. Rather than be unhappy, mm. we don't know how many chances in life we get. That's it. Let's figure yeah. a way to see it coming, not like what you're going to talk about today preventing that from happening rather than that's right well so when you you, you uh, meet somebody there's a lot of excitement because there'll be things about their personality that really interest you now one of the things that i learned to do is instead of asking questions of people i found out that by looking at someone's face and looking at the facial features you can very quickly work out their personality you know how they like to take information in, how they're likely to process it but you also know uh, what will push their buttons? You know the upside of their traits and the downside of their traits. Now, the upside of the traits are usually the thing that attract us to the other person. But then the uh, when we get used to that over time, we start noticing the downside of the traits. And because we're so used to the upside, it's, you know, as they say, we uh, 
they grow contempt for things that we're used to. So the end result is that now we focus on the downside of their traits. Mm -hmm. Well, I teach people how to then uh, look at and understand those traits, talk to the other person in the way that they need to be spoken to and get the excitement back into their relationship. So, go, just to pause right there, um, Pamela said, I wonder about reading people via phone or Zoom, not just in person. But that's why I do telehealth, because uh, if I was to meet people in my private practice counseling um, face to face with masks on exactly what you're saying, I wouldn't have I wouldn't be able to get the nonverbal cues. And it's actually backfired a couple of times. But I, can, I can't see if a person's getting upset by what I'm telling them. And then all of a sudden the tears come and I'm like, oh, wait, you know, because I need those cues mm. from them as well. And with the mask and the face to face. Mm it's harder with masks on and I would insist on a mask if I was in my office mm. and it's sometimes on virtual they want to have the camera off or I can only see their they don't have their whole face centered into the camera I'm like please fix your camera so I can see your mouth and that's exactly why like because I need those cues mm. exactly what you're saying yeah well the face has got so many different indicators on it and the good thing is that even if somebody was wearing a mask or a burqa and all you can see is the eyes themselves the eyes give away a lot. It does. It does, yeah. but not as much uh, as the whole face. Oh, no. If the more indicators you've got, the more accurate you can be. And as I say to people, when you're reading people, don't just go with one or two indicators and think you've got it. You need to look at as ma many indicators as you can, and they need to be pointing in the same direction. To mm -hmm. uh, say that yes, body language. Mm. How a person's sitting, if they're sitting away from you or towards you or mm. arms crossed or a pillow on their lap rather than mm. comfortable, all of that. But you're the professional and keep going. I'm just saying, like, it's the same with counseling. I'm just excited that this it ties in a lot with what we do. And that's it. Yeah, so once you get used to and understand the person's personality, it's, you know, what I, we talk about the, the micro expressions and picking up whether somebody's telling the truth or not. And that sort of stuff is all very sexy. We see it on the TV, on the CIA, the C on the um, well, criminal investigation or uh, programs and everything else. And it's uh, it's great and it's interesting. But the real thing is we don't need to worry about that as much if we can really build a proper relationship with somebody. So mm. it's understanding someone's personality more than anything else. It's the most important thing. And then depending on how you speak to them, it will depend on the results that you get back. So I found out that uh, the facial features just give me so much information. If I ask people questions, there's issues like age, gender, uh, their education level, whether their interpretation or understanding of the words I'm using are the same as mine. And so I needed a way of doing, a, a better way of reading people. And I found that the facial features give us all the information we need. I'm very quickly to explain that because I know a lot of people out there are gonna be going, looking at someone's face and reading their personality. How does that work? Well, if you lift weights, you're going to build muscles. At the same time, everything we feel inside, we express outwardly. That's why we can see if someone's sad or happy or angry or whatever. And so with that, you put those two together. If somebody thinks in a certain way over and over again, they're going to build ridges and crevices on their face. Like you'll notice on me, I've got those two little vertical, vertical lines between my eyebrows. And that's because I really focus in when I'm looking at things. <laughs> it's so, a Botox. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you a quick story with that. And it, 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 so I do the same thing and I can do it now because of COVID, but hmm. And I worked in a maximum risk juvenile correctional facility with murderers. I mean, people that set their parents on fire in their sleep and, you know, that. and I look at them intensely and they came, they thought I was judging and they'd be like, Miss Tiffany, why are you looking at me like that? But I was just processing and deeply listening. Well, I almost got my butt beat by one of them. So I like that I started Botox, so I can't make that face. And eventually mm. people just saw me listening and I couldn't make that intense face. Mm. And it worked out, and I'm saying I'm like I'm a fan of Botox right here as an occupational hazard, so I don't get my you know mm. I don't get punched back. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and then and then I just ended up starting to like it. But when I say I'm a fan of Botox, and I tell that story, people are like, uh huh, sure, but no, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm like, and you just proved it. <laughs> yeah, and that's what happens. You know, different facial uh, features are going to give uh, people different impressions, and so. That this gave me so much information. It meant that if somebody just came around the corner from 10 feet away from me, and as they walked past my shoulder and we're walking in the opposite directions, we're past each other, 
I can tell you the bulk of their personality. I can sit down and talk about the careers that will suit them, the hobbies and uh, sports that will suit them, uh, and tell you how to actually go and talk to that person, how to connect with them. This is the beautiful part of this. There used to be a belief, you know, back uh, centuries ago, uh, that somebody's face, particular faces would be criminals. Well, we know that that's a load of rubbish. That was based on what they call phrenology. But that's all about character. But what I'm talking about is your personality, which is uh, completely different. So the personality is how you like to think and process, and the character is what you're thinking and processing. So two people can look fairly similar. They will process information in a similar way. But the whole difference is that what they're thinking about and what they're about to do is completely different. Mm. And so people say, do I judge people when I, uh, you know, there's a lot of judgment in this. And I go, well, it's actually removing judgment because think about, uh, has there been a time you've seen someone and they've just reminded you as somebody who's done the wrong thing by you in the past and you've straight away, you don't like them, you step away from them. And then you come back and you go, well, it, you know, I, I was right because they pull back and, you know, they proved to be uh, standoffish or whatever. And, well, you created a self-fulfilling prophecy because they picked up your actions and moved away from you. And so we've yeah. got to be careful about that. So what I'm, what I'm doing is showing people not to uh, get mixed up in that. So look at somebody, realise how they like to think and process, but not what they're thinking and processing. And you don't judge people then in that way. Yeah. No, but you can pick up on red flags, like on what you don't like in some people, though. Sometimes mm. it's a win-win yeah. if you, you know, don't get fooled twice by the same mm. narcissistic behavior or, you know, there's some people that rub you the wrong way and it's because their personality traits are kind of the same. Like, I hate arrogant people. I, you know, I don't know, not hate, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like they're yeah. full of themselves, I kind of like to put them in their place. I don't know, but that's just me. I, I don't know, that's mm. special. Like, <laughs> get over yourself. I don't know, it's one of those things, but I don't know. Hmm. Uh, it's yeah. time for our first break, Alan, and this is this is great. It's uh, really tying into what I mean, what I do for a living, having to read people. Not only that, but hmm. there's a lot of people out there that need these tips for social skills to understand. You know, it's hmm. not them that's doing something wrong all the time, or how to stop repetitive, hmm. toxic relationships, or you know, things like that. And we're gonna really that's get it. into that. Um, let's take our first break. And um, and welcome callers call in 866-826-1340, 866-826-1340. And um, also um, leave us comments on youtube.com forward slash MOC with Tiffany or Facebook at MOC with Tiffany or Twitter or live. And we'll be back with Moments of Clarity in just a moment. Please stay tuned. You're listening to Moments of Clarity with Tiffany Werner. We welcome your input at 866-826-1340. Tiffany will be right back after this. This is the Tan Talk Radio Network. If you're a show host, gamer, live streamer, podcast host, or radio show host that would like your message to get out and reach up to 30 platforms, then there's an affordable way to do that. It's called Restream. Restream makes it easy to broadcast professional live videos from your browser to multiple social platforms at once. Start your live show with guests, brand it with logos and overlays, and create an interactive experience for your audience. Learn more at Restream.io and mention Moments of Clarity for special offers. These are challenging times for everyone. Many people are turning to drugs and alcohol to cope and others have relapsed. If you or a loved one is struggling right now, River Oaks can help. River Oaks Treatment Center located in Riverview, just outside of Tampa, provides specialized treatment for co-occurring substance use and mental health conditions. River Oaks is a premier destination for those needing high quality care with a nationally recognized medical team and scientifically backed treatment methods. You'll also find a tranquil environment for healing with holistic therapies and specially designed treatment groups for various populations, including LGBTQ+, veterans, and first responders. Call and speak with a River Oaks representative today at 866-332-1225. Today could be the start of a new beginning. 
Hi, this is Tiffany Warner, your host of Moments of Clarity. Living with a mental health disorder is not easy. If you or someone you know are struggling with this, please know it's so important to seek treatment, and I'm here to help. Please visit the website at momentsofclaritywithtiffany.com to view blog posts and resources on this site to help educate and inspire you to take action because there's no shame in seeking help for mental health. While you're there, please take a few seconds to sign up for my email list. You'll get some extremely valuable educational and entertaining content that can be sent right to your inbox each week. Plus, you'll also get instant and free access to my guide on managing your anxiety. You can also follow me on Twitter at MOC with Tiffany and at Facebook at Tiffany Warner. And once again, the website is Moments of Clarity with Tiffany. Thank you so much for your support and for listening to your show because change can only come when we stand together as one. Are you looking for a great book? If you like to root for the underdog, Joe Potosi's book is a book for you. A real American odyssey that will grab your attention with its fast moving narrative. You won't be able to put this masterpiece down. When the Dust Settled by Joe Potosi. Go to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or Zulin Press. This is the Tam Talk Radio Network. We are back to Moments of Clarity with Tiffany Werner. To join in the discussion, call 866-826-1340. Now, here's Tiffany Werner. Hi, and welcome back, and thanks for listening. This is Moments of Clarity. My name is Tiffany Werner. I'm a licensed mental health counselor, and I'm your host. And today we are talking about how to read people and with a with an international profiling and communication specialist that's with us from Australia. And he's written a book and he has a free download and he's in his, in his web link. We're gonna get to that in a minute, but welcome back to Moments of Clarity, Alan Stevens. Thank you very much. And um, a little bit before we were, we were getting into that, how people can use these tips to avoid repetitive toxic relationships. And um, how do you apply that? Well, as I said, yeah, the more we understand someone's personality, the more that we know how to then speak to them. And then we've got the feedback. See, I use a number of different modalities. The first one is, as I said, the facial features tell me their personality. That, that then tells me how I need to change the way that I like to be spoken to to match the way that they need to be spoken to. Because it's all about building uh, relationships. And I noticed in one of the comments before, somebody was asking about uh, how this works in business. And this is how I use it. It actually, I use it this way in every part of life. If I'm able to read the other person, I know how to speak to them in the way that they want to be spoken to. Then I can structure the language around that. And what I've got after that is the, the body language and the micro expressions, the little twitches on the face that now tell me whether they're telling the truth or not. It also tells me what they're, whether I've connected with them, first of all. And I know Joe asked a question there before about um, uh, have I had any problems in a, in a professional level by reading somebody wrong? Now, if I've read their personality correctly, and as I said, I don't just make a judgment on one little indicator. I've got the body language and expressions, and the more feedback I can get from them, the more accurate I'm going to be. So the first indicator I get is that if I've read them right, I've got, I've got that information. The next thing is, is there something emotionally going on? In a sales role, then I may have to deal with something that uh, they're dealing with emotionally first, and then I can go to the sale. So I work on that side of it. And then after that, when they're talking to me, the body language and the, the uh, expressions will then tell me whether um, they're telling me the truth or not. Mm. So it's a combination of things. It's not just one on its own. There's a comment um, on Facebook Live and she's, um, Pamela said, I'm in my mid fifties and unless I'm smiling, I look like I'm mad or sad or mad from my aging face, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was talking about Botox Pamela <laughs> no but um yeah because some they call it a resting I can't say the word um radio but b phase or something like some people just look mad from just their facial features when they're not you know it's, it can be intimidating a little bit but and then you get to know them and they're really sweet but they just look angry or whatever what do you think about the, that well, so that the expression could be because they're focusing on uh, what you're saying so they're really paying you more attention than somebody who's um, not really interested, person who's not really interested, may have a quite uh, peaceful, restful face at the time. But the person who is really looking that stern way at you is because they're trying to concentrate. They're really focusing on what you're saying. They want to take it all in. So this is why, as I say, don't just judge the person in that one moment. We are the combination of all of our um, experiences. And as I say, the, the 
in your face. The, and by the way, the ladies out there who are listening to this, the little lines out the corner of your, your, your eyes, they call the laughter lines or... Crow's uh, feet. Yeah, it's the other <laughs> way they call them. <laughs> they call it. Yeah, That's a yeah, nice way to put it. But it's from... Like the, the wrinkles on our face is from smile lines and things like exactly. that. Exactly. That's it because they say that beauty is only skin deep, but those lines out the corner of your eyes are beauty that goes all the way to the bone. And the what I mean by that is that you only get those lines if you smile a lot. You really enjoy life because the muscles around the eyes will tighten up so tight that they'll crinkle the skin at the side here. And the only time that happens is deep enjoyment or squinting in the sun. And you can tell right. whether it's the sun because of the discoloration of the uh, the outer surface and the inside of the lines of the wrinkles. Uh, but with anybody else where it's a similar sort of texture all the way through, you know it's from smiling. That's somebody who enjoys life. So, and when right. I look at a mature age woman, if she hasn't got those lines, I probably won't go and talk to her. Oh. I'm attracted to those right. lines because I'm attracted to the person else. inside. Hmm. All the people getting spending money on uh, Botox and fillers and face anti wrinkle cream that we have it all wrong. I, was see, doing I can see the cosmetic surgeons <laughs> lining up right now, yeah, going, "Get that man <laughs> off here!" Backwards. <laughs> We're supposed to prevent those lines? No. <laughs> or no. Now, it's, no. Yeah. We should let it happen. Yeah. But it's a combination. If I see the corner of your mouth is turned up. The very corner of it when it's just you know just uh, at rest and there's no lines up there i'll go aha i know you've had some botox because these lines come first you won't just have the turn up corner of your mouth without getting these lines as well so look for the combination as i said i don't just look for one indicator i look for as many things as i can that really tell me how that person likes to think and process what's their personality and then from there i can talk to them in the right way and then i can judge their character after that uh, Facebook Live, Joe Potosi asks, have you misread an individual in your professional life, personal life, and as a result, you've faced severe negative consequences? Before I learned how to read people, many times. <laughs> as I said, two divorces, business partners who went to the bank out, a whole mass of things. But I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm 100% accurate, but I've yet to be proven wrong. In all the people, in all the situations where I've uh, talked to them, because I take in as many indicators as I can, I might see something and go, oh, something there isn't right. But I won't judge them on that. I'll look for more uh, proof. You know, this is one thing, this is why I always say, I always check, no matter how good I am at reading people, I will always test my results. Because when you get arrogant, you think you know everything, you're the one who's missing out. Uh -huh. and good relationships are so important. I don't like them. That's what I'm saying. Those people get on my nerves, but yeah, you're so right. I mean, you don't want to make the same mistake twice, but I'd rather give someone a chance and and then learn that they're not a good person rather than judge them from the beginning and miss out on a good friend, to be honest. Mm. I That's usually it. figure it out within two weeks, someone's intentions, though, like, mm. you know, red like flags and stuff like that, but it doesn't hurt to give people a chance ever, in my opinion, and then figure out if it's worth keeping going you know so this is why it's good to be able to be able to read people accurately because if you and be comfortable and uh, feel that uh, yes you've got the skills to do it not just the the, the uh, uh what we call it say the, the arrogance to think i can read people i always want to know that i can read people well and so with that i'll take my time but if i have all those skills i can give them the benefit of the doubt start to connect with them and very quickly work out, you know, is this somebody I should move away from? So instead of just judging and going, oh, I don't like that person, they remind me of somebody who's done the wrong thing or whatever in the past and move away from, I've just lost an opportunity of a great relationship. So mm -hmm. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but then I'll look for the indicators are there. And because I can see so many indicators, it doesn't take long for me to work out whether yeah, this person is uh, somebody I should stay away from or, geez, I'm glad I didn't uh, misjudge them. Uh, and, you know, of course, now I've got a great relationship. We've gone through that quite a bit. Joe knows. Joe knows he's <laughs> my friend. <laughs> like, well, give the person a chance, and then all of a sudden, like, wait a minute. <laughs> I think we, we got to watch out. Like, red flag, red flag. But 
Yeah. I mean, but they deserve the opportunity. So, mm. but yeah. yes. Um, mm. So yeah. With, in regards to here, another question on Facebook Live, thinking more in terms of business and personal life. Um, yeah, but, mm, well, in all situations, people talk about uh, having business relationships. Well, there's no such thing as a business relationship because businesses don't talk to businesses. Every relationship we have in life is a personal relationship. You know, people don't, you know, they say that people don't buy what you do. They buy um, uh, who you are. And that's very true. You know, people don't buy our products from us. They buy us first. And from there, then they go to the products. So every relationship is a personal one, whether it be with your children, whether it be with your spouse, friends in the you know, in, in your uh, family, or whether it be in business. You know, yeah. if you uh, upset any of your clients, or well, think of it this way, a uh, professional uh, uh, finance advisor, they have a book of people and they might work for a company. But the moment they decide to move from that company and go to another one, how many of their people stay with the company and how many people go with them? You'll find that most of their clients will go with them. So yeah. people always um, uh, uh, connect with you on a personal level. And to treat others the way you want to be treated, you know, That's it. But, mm. and um, that works a lot for people to yeah. be trusted. And then not only the skills to read others, but make sure that we're not accidentally doing them ourselves. You know, mm. that they you know, take that uh, point of um, uh, treating others as you would have them treat you to another level, treat others as they would have you treat them. That's uh -huh. even closer again because there's 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet and every last one of us, our personalities are different. There are no two people, even twins, no two twins are totally identically alike as far as their personalities go. There's always a variation. They might have been very similar at birth, but because of our experiences through life, because with our, with, our personality is made up of nature and nurture. So nature being passed down the DNA and then the nurture is our re response to our environment. So in that, everybody will be different. So I want to find out about that person. Who are they? How do they want to be spoken to? And I change the way I want to be spoken to to match them. So I'm treating oh, them as yeah. they want me to treat them. I do agree with that, except that, okay, for instance, in friendships, there's some that are clingy and want to talk every day or whatever. It, and you can't meet their needs, especially if you're busy, but you can set proper boundaries and compromise it, yes. even, as mm -hmm. long as you set healthy boundaries. Yeah. Where yeah. You, meet That's them it. You, set, yeah. you set the boundary and then you speak to them in the time that you do have with them, that you want to have with mm -hmm. them. Uh, you speak to them in the way that they need to be spoken to. So right. yeah, if they need to be treated gently and spoken to gently. You're doing that while you're with them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, one thing we always have to do is look after ourselves as well. So we put boundaries in place for people. We need them to respect our boundaries and that way we can respect them as well. You know, yeah. Relationships are a two way affair. They're a two way thing. So we can't just do it one way. And so if I got somebody who's very, um, uh, needs a lot of attention and everything else, I'll structure it so that they can get the attention, but they don't get it every time they just want it. It's when I can also provide it as well. Because if I don't, I end up wearing myself out there and I'm no good to them. Exactly, we can't pour from an empty cup. That's exactly We're right. We're out trying to please everybody else, and then we aren't giving our full potential. The, for the friends that like I, that I found need more attention, it's when you do talk to them to give them undivided attention and you really listen to how they're doing, and even if it's for thirty minutes or an hour, you know, like, then that usually helps. Or, or a quick text every now and then just thinking of you but i'm busy or whatever so that that's you can, can meet their needs that's a love language thing too it is and that's the whole thing you know and when we talk about love language it's you know yes we want to help and connect with the other person with their love, love language but don't neglect your own at the same time yeah. you know respect yourself we all need uh, space to be able to keep yeah. our energy yeah. and yeah. so i've got some really close friends who um yeah They'd be on the phone all day, every day, if they could be. But yeah. by putting the right boundaries in place, they really respect it when I do call. Right. And we have the times when I get together and everything else with them. And that makes our relationship stronger. It's no longer a needy relationship. And at the same time, it's not a, um, uh, a relationship that's wearing either of us down. Right. Or they don't get on your nerves or... But they don't feel neglected or you know, all of the above. Pamela on Facebook said, "Good, 
to use the techniques to read people, but also realize that there may be other things going on that we are not aware of. So yes, I'm glad that you recognize mm -hmm. that we may be misreading at first meeting. That's right, because you know, so, you know somebody may be you know uh, going through some really uh, traumatic times, and they don't like to tell people about it. Some people are very good at hiding their uh, emotions, but then when the emotions build up so much, then they start to come out. And we see that little uh, rising of the emotion and we then judge them in that moment. We go, you know, what's going on here? But we don't realize that there is something behind all of that. This is why, as I always say, that when you're talking to people, they say that you've got two ears and one mouth. Uh -huh. And I go, no, you've got two ears, two eyes and one mouth. Use them in that proportion. And when you're listening to somebody, listen generously. Yes. <laughs> The more that you can well, use indicators that come back from them, uh, the more you're going to get the story. If you're using, you know, you just see a little bit and then you jump in. Because I'd say now that on average, when somebody is, uh, it starts to tell you something that's going on in their life, it's about 19 seconds is an average before people jump in and start giving them advice. There's yeah. no way you get any information in that period of time. It's Listen to it's them, ask baby. questions after that. And you're supposed to be listening, listen, listen, listen. And then at the end, if you feel like they're suffering from something, then you can offer them positive mm -hmm. reinforcement or whatever. Fred Brown said, it's amazing. That's a pretty amazing by sight. I usually listen to what they say, watch actions over time. Thanks for sharing this incredible technique. Thank you. And, and I can tell you that Fred Brown is telling the truth. He does observe and pay attention, supports everyone around him. And then, you know, it gives undivided attention. I actually talked to him yesterday for a long time and it was a great talk and got to catch up, but it, it doesn't have to. There's some people that you just talk to once in a while and it's like you pick up right where you left off. You don't have to mm. keep in touch yeah. all the time. The people you pick up with really quickly will be the ones that are very similar to you and your personality. That's why we can pick it up really quickly people who are completely different to us in our personality. You know, they're, sometimes the conversation is a little bit harder in getting those going. But the one thing to remember is that um, the people who have a completely different personality of, to us are the ones that make our life much better, especially when we're working. They're the people who do the work we don't want to do and vice versa. They'll, you know, we'll do the work that they don't like doing. This is how we create teams. Teams are created right. through differences, not through similarities. Mm -hmm. They do personality yeah. testing for jobs to make sure that mm -hmm. there's not a bunch of A personalities on there. You know, that, That's it. Mm -hmm. you know, everyone's got an upside and a downside of their traits. Everyone's got a gift of some form or another. If every person on the planet's got a different personality, then every last one of them, even those with autism and Asperger's and other conditions or things, has a gift. Our They're job- the most brilliant people. Most of them are accountants. Mm. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank God, because I don't know how to do math. I mean, we all need to help each other out, you know? Hmm. Yeah. It's time for well, our second break, Alan. I'll let you finish your thought, but we yeah, need I was just going to say that with um, uh, people with autism, Asperger's, and things like that, look for their gifts, not so much the situation. If they're not fitting into the, the our environment, that's our problem. Yeah. But if we look yeah. at them and see where their gifts are, then we can improve their lives and we improve oh, ours at the same time. Oh, my gosh. And, and I, have, I have had shows on that uh, with people living with autism that have spoken they have a master's degree like basically in socializing social skills mm -hmm. social um social work because they feel like they had to adjust to us and if we mm -hmm. understand more what their struggles are that stop using sarcasm because that's mm -hmm. like they don't understand sarcasm and sarcasm honestly is a defense mechanism sometimes mm -hmm. if we could just be mm -hmm. really the truth you know, the, I don't know. That's another show, but that's before, I wait before I miss it, and um, we'll be back with moments of clarity. I love how everyone's leaving comments. Thank you so much. You're welcome to call in 866-826-1340, and we'll be back with moments of clarity in just a moment. Please stay with us. We will return to moments of clarity with Tiffany Warner after these messages. This is the Tan Talk Radio Network. These are challenging times for everyone. Many people are turning to drugs and alcohol to cope, and others have relapsed. If you or a loved one is struggling right now, River Oaks can help. 
River Oaks Treatment Center, located in Riverview, just outside of Tampa, provides specialized treatment for co-occurring substance use and mental health conditions. River Oaks is a premier destination for those needing high-quality care with a nationally recognized medical team and scientifically backed treatment methods. You'll also find a tranquil environment for healing with holistic therapies and specially designed treatment groups for various populations, including LGBTQ+, veterans, and first responders. Call and speak with a River Oaks representative today at 866-332-1225. Today could be the start of a new beginning. Do you ask yourself any of these questions? Will I ever be able to get out of debt? Will I ever be able to retire? How am I going to pay for my children's education? How do I begin saving for my family's future? And if something were to happen to me, will my family be taken care of? Have you struggled in finding the answers? Forever Forward Financial can help answer these and many more questions about your financial future by teaching you how money works, by providing you the financial education you seek, by assisting you in making the right retirement or educational decisions that are best for you and your family, and by helping you take the necessary steps in establishing and meeting your financial goals. Please call us today and schedule your complimentary no-obligation meeting to discuss your needs and concerns. The number 727-422-7761. Hi, this is Tiffany Warner, your host of Moments of Clarity. Living with a mental health disorder is not easy. If you or someone you know are struggling with this, please know it's so important to seek treatment and I'm here to help. Please visit the website at momentsofclaritywithtiffany.com to view blog posts and resources on this site to help educate and inspire you to take action because there's no shame in seeking help for mental health. While you're there, please take a few seconds to sign up for my email list. You'll get some extremely valuable educational and entertaining content that can be sent right to your inbox each week. Plus, you'll also get instant and free access to my guide on managing your anxiety. You can also follow me on Twitter at MOC with Tiffany and at Facebook at Tiffany Warner. And once again, the website is moments of clarity with Tiffany.com. Thank you so much for your support and for listening to your show because change can only come when we stand together as one. Hi, this is Tiffany Warner, your host of Moments of Clarity. I'd like to give a shout out to musician songwriter Don Lawson, who wrote, produced, and performed all the vocals and instruments on my Moments of Clarity theme song. Don gained his inspiration as a mental health counselor himself. He's always looking for artists to record his songs, and you can hear more of Don's music at ReverbNation.com forward slash Don Lawson. You can also check him out on Twitter at Don Lawson Music. Thank you so much, Don, for your contribution to Moments of Clarity and ending the stigma on mental health. That's awesome. This is the Tan Talk Radio Network. Now back to Moments of Clarity with Tiffany Werner, licensed mental health counselor. To engage in the conversation, call 866 826 1340. Here's Tiffany. Hi, and we're back, and thanks for listening. And this is Moments of Clarity. I'm Tiffany Warner. I'm a licensed mental health counselor and your host. And today we have a very um, special guest from Australia. We're at almost 5 a.m. his time. <laughs> and he's an international profiling specialist and communication specialist. And he's written books and what the like, and worked with international clients like Disney and Gillette and Australia Federal Police to teach how to read people. He also has a book that's free to download. And um, I'll give you the, the link as well. Welcome back to Moments of Clarity, Alan Stevens. Thank you. Alan, you have several links that people can follow you on. Um, Facebook, he's on LinkedIn, he's on YouTube, uh, um, Facebook profiler, Instagram, everything. And it's Alan Stevens. And he also has a book, and I have it down here too, for those visual watching that, um, <clears throat> where he, if you go to his website, um, you can go to facebook.com forward slash celebrity profiler or also at his website. Everything's there. AlanStevens.com. Dot, wait a minute. I have the wrong one. Did that. Let me do the right one. AlanStevens.com.au, like Australia, forward slash seven secrets. AlanStevens.com.au forward slash seven secrets. 
anyway, I'm so sorry mm. that. that's funny. I thought I removed that. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. <laughs> I, I just forgot to remove the one I misspelled. Anyway, um, welcome back, Alan. And let's talk about more. There's, you've done so much. The hour doesn't really cover it all. But, um, I learned so much and it kind of validated a lot of tools we use as clinicians to find. Mm. So that's why I'm like feeding in and like so engaged in this because everything you're saying is so correct. <laughs> it just took me like 20 years of being a therapist to learn it myself. But, you know, mm. um, so if you can t teach people it's seven secrets, we could all understand each other so more quickly mm. and avoid being hurt or burned or any of that. But you have something called the Campfire Project. And tell us about that. Yeah. Well, the Campfire Project, I realized when I was talking to especially men in business, and I'd ask them one of the things, you know, what's one of your biggest concerns or what's one of the issues? And they said, well, we're confused. And I said, well, confused with what? And they said, well, we don't know our role in the family because we thought it was to, you know, get a good job, pay the mortgage and look after the family, be the provider. Uh, but now we're in trouble because we're not home enough. We're not emotionally connected. Mm. And then at work, we've got all these gender issues and uh, quotas and other things. And we, you know, we're we very concerned about, well, if I say the wrong thing, I'm in trouble. You know, I can joke with the guys, but I can't joke with the women. And I went, right, men needed somewhere that they could, first of all, um, go with safety where they could give themselves permission to tell their stories. And I thought with my background, I've been through a lot of different things and I realized that you know, bringing boys into manhood, but once you bring a boy into manhood, how do you go to the next step? And that is to help them to become a man, not the man, because all, got all these guys out there trying to be the man in competition with each other. And we've got some really you know, undesirables within amongst it. But when you're trying to be a man and the best version of yourself, you want to be around other men who are doing the same thing. And that was the campfire was about. But uh, when the men first joined, if they bothered to have a look at the membership, they would have found that we had women in there as well. And the reason for that was first a safe place where the men could come and tell their stories. From there, uh, they would uh, be, realize that there were women within the group. And so the biggest problem was for a lot of men who go to men's groups, it's like going to a motivational seminar. You then come back home and yeah, you get hit by the real world. And so then you're looking for the next men's group when it comes out or next motivational seminar and back you go. And so you're in this cycle of you know, running backwards and forwards. But in, so you had the women in the campfire and the women in there are respectful to the men. It gave the women a chance to hear how men could speak when they felt safe to do so. And it gave the men a chance then to talk to those women who would talk to them respectfully as well so that they would know whether they'd worked through their stuff or not. So I started, first of all, by interviewing men one on one around the world. Um, and the only two places I haven't interviewed anybody so far has been the North or South Pole. So every other continent we've had uh, interviews with people from the one on one. The yeah. North South Pole. So you didn't interview Santa. Yeah, well, there's obviously, um, you know, people who um, are working in those areas. They've huts so and they've got uh, their Internet. Well, I should be able to talk. Are there? There's like a lot like. You've hit them all? Um, yeah, well, we've just every continent, we've had people come into the group. We've had over 240 one on one discussions. Anybody who comes in can put their hand up, regardless of who they are, and they can um, have their one on one with us. So I started, first of all, with the men and then brought the men into panel discussions. So four of us on screen at once talking about all sorts of issues. Even uh, things like um, uh, uh, menopause and menstruation, to be able to understand our partners, to understand our, our, our daughters, for instance. Well, you're talking and to women or men asking about These menopause? are the men. These oh, are the wow. men we were having discussions with. And the women then was the, was the common answer, personal uh, messages. Turn down the air conditioner, uh, don't get on their nerves, <laughs> hide the knives. <laughs> well, we started out with <laughs> things like pornography. Go and masculinity and things like that. And okay. then the women were realizing that we, um, that they love the conversations and they, they were saying, well, how do we get involved? And I said, well, I was just waiting for you to put your hands up because <laughs> this wasn't going to be a men's tribe. It was going to be a global community and it's turned into that. So from there, we've had, um, uh, I've had, or as I said, about 240, 250 now one-on-one -on -one conversations. This is wow. in two and a half years. We've had uh, 93 uh, panel discussions that I've run, or actually the 95th one, I'm doing it in about an hour's time. And then uh, we, another young guy started running some Facebook Lives in there and his panel discussions have now reached about 35. 
So we've got almost 400 hours of uh, interviews and discussions that we've had in the last uh, two and a half years. And in that, we have found that um, you know, people are connecting. The men and women who have come in, there has not been once that any man or any woman has been disrespectful to another man or woman. And it's proving that we can get together and we can have conversations. So anybody can come into the Campfire Project as long as- there? We have four minutes yeah. before the radio show. How do we find you on the Campfire Project? This is amazing. This is on uh, Facebook. If you just go in and you search for the word Campfire Project, uh, if you put in the uh, facebook.com forward slash groups and then forward slash Campfire Project as one word, you'll find it. If you just search in Facebook for it, it's Campfire and the Campfire then is split. It's, it's the Campfire Project. So a break between each one uh, because I couldn't actually grab the whole word. You just look look up Alan Stevens and you get there through your bio. You'll probably find it through there as well. But mm -hmm. with, uh, we have the, the videos in the Campfire Project and we've also got the Campfire Project Community Group, which is a business page where we do all the advertising from there. So okay. if you just do a search on the Campfire, you should be able to find us. And um, what else? Just uh, since we only have a couple minutes left, uh, how can people locate you? I've got your book here um, also, The Seven Secrets. You can free to download. It's on for those driving in cars. You can always review this um, on the YouTube channel, Moments of Clarity, or YouTube forward slash MOC with Tiffany. Um, but it's uh, download his book, The Seven Secrets. It's alanstevens.com.au, kind of like Australia, forward slash seven secrets, and it's free to download. And... Uh, and so what else um, to promote so people can find you, what you're doing? Well, what I would always recommend is go to the website itself as well, alanstevens.com.au, and have a look at the success story page. And you'll find it's broken into six different areas. There's oh, hundreds of uh, different uh, videos around that you'll find of testimonials from people. You find where you can use this yourself. Uh -huh. And as I said, it's used in business, it's used in raising families, it's used in partnerships. The seven secrets is um, it'll give you some tips and you know, those videos that'll show you how to read people. So you go and test it and uh, work it out so, and see how it works for you. As I say to everybody, don't trust everything that anyone tells you. Go away and test it and prove it for yourself. Sounds great. Uh, Facebook, uh, Robert McRae, spot on show, spot on guest. I agree. Thanks, Robert. It's been a great, it's been a great interview and um, thank you for your time and for being for all the way from Australia, getting up in the break of dawn to be here. My and pleasure. And uh, Pamela also say also said, and from she's from YouTube, not Facebook, mm. by the way. Um, I just multitask too much. But thanks for watching on YouTube. Please hit subscribe um, while you're there. The little icon on the right bottom of the right screen. You can hit you right to subscribe if you're watching live from YouTube. Um, and everything and um and appreciate that as well and for all the support so when innovation says thanks alan great job thank you, you. i agree and um and joe potosi had said also earlier yeah I have the good pleasure of being on the campfire project mm -hmm. i just want to say this group is awesome and i recommend it to everyone so um oops. Anyway, so thank you so much, Alan, for being on the show and for all you do. And um, and stay with us. We have to close up. The, we're out of time, unfortunately. And thanks to Ed and thanks to the team and everybody supporting mental health, ending the stigma on mental health and educating on everything. Change can only come when we stand together as one and then we help each other. And be kind to yourself and a stranger. You never know what they're going through. Okay. Thank you. You're so alive. Now it clicks. Moments of clarity. Now I hear. Moments of clarity. Don't put yourself down, time for a change. Believe in yourself, time to rearrange. Be 
your best friend, bring hope to your day. Lose your critic, get out of your way. Now it clicks, moments of clarity. Now I hear, moments of clarity. Now I get it, moments of clarity. To yourself, be kind, it will please your mind. Find your joy, trust in you. Put in the time, you'll see how you grow. Many kinds of love you get to define. Find self love, you're so alive. Now it clicks, moments of clarity. Now I hear, moments of clarity.